Can we start with injuries? Any fresh problems? And, and Steve Mounier and, and Danny Williams, will they be in contention this weekend? Uh, no, both will be not in contention this weekend. So uh, Steve will be, will be probably ready for the next home game against Tottenham. Uh, Danny Williams ha has a small fracture on a bone in his foot. Uh, we have a specialist appointment tomorrow where we'll get some information how long he will be out. This is at the minute totally open because it's a very, very small fracture. So we will see for sure he's out for Saturday and anything else we will know over the weekend. Uh, Lolo and um, Rajiv are stiff. I think Lolo is uh, Deportre. Lolo Deportre is further than Rajiv at the minute. There's a doubt behind uh, Rajiv. So we have some injury uh, concerns at the minute, but we will find solution for it. And Burnley, as a football club, are they a good model for Huddersfield Town? What they've achieved, similar size club um, to be fair I, I don't know Burnley good enough uh, if, if this is comparable I think we have to look on ourselves and uh, don't try to copy anyone because uh, we are uh, different like everybody club is different I can say that what uh, Burnley and John has achieved so far over the last four or five years I think this has shown how important consistency is in football and for a football club to be successful. And uh, yeah, they've done a great job in, in, in this season and in the past seasons as well. It's a big match, a big, big match for us. Uh, we know what is in front of us. This is a very hardworking team, a real team, not a team of... Uh, full of individuals uh, where everybody thinks oh, give him the ball and he makes a difference but uh, uh, an unbelievable team with a great work ethic so uh, this is a difficult task for us which we have in front of us tomorrow but this doesn't change that yeah we like to be successful on saturday against them even if we know what a different uh, type of character team character we will meet on saturday so i think it's it's an interesting test which we have on saturday you mentioned some of their qualities do you see similarities that in terms of the team ethic and the, the honesty of the players and the the structure and the organization yeah absolutely so uh, the, the 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 togetherness the spirit uh, you can feel that this group of burnley players have this spirit and this is i think one of their their key keys that they are successful uh, like we uh, have a good uh, team spirit and a good a great togetherness as well so it's interesting to see uh, two really uh, football teams playing against each other on Saturday so this is what excites this is what is interesting and um, we, we are ready, we are prepared, and we are happy that yeah, we will meet them on Saturday. After the Burnley game, three of the next four are against Tottenham, Manchester United and Liverpool. So does it make this game even more significant to pick something up from, from the match? No, not for us. I think for us, every game is a game which excites us. Every game is an opportunity, every game you have a chance, sometimes the chance before the games uh, looks bigger than uh, in other games. I think on the other day it's a case that we travel to Burnley and we know if we come to our best, but we have really to come to our best from the first second, not uh, only in the second half like on Tuesday against Crystal Palace. We, we, we could have a chance. But first and foremost, we have to invest everything and have to be focused that we do everything right. Uh, what we have in theory in our head and uh, then we will see what happens. So I don't look uh, and I've never done to look uh, too far ahead. Makes no sense. It's all about Burnley on Saturday. It's a question.
Yeah, and look, at the end of the day, both Burnley and Huddersfield are going really well. I know it's early. How refreshing is that, that two sides that maybe people would assume would struggle are doing so well so early in the Premier League? Yeah, as you said, it's early days. I think, and I only like to speak for us, not for Burnley. I, I, I'm okay with what we've done so far. Eight points and eight deserved points. I think everybody who followed our games knows it could be more, maybe, uh, rather than the eight points. So we accept where we are at the minute, but it's past now. It's the present, and the present means for us the next game is Burnley, and this is where we put our focus on.